Forms are easier than ever to implement on your website as a developer using Toolbun and it's free. So let's go through how you do this and how it works. All right, first I go to my play project. So if you haven't made a project, just make a project and then I will make a new tool. I will say that it's a form and I have here the name. I can, for example, say videofeedbacker.com um, and I can say whatever I want to call it here and I can save this one here. When I have made it here, I can see all of the things that have been sent to this form. There's nothing yet. I go back into edit mode here and I can copy here this example. This example just shows you how to do it. I'll go in here and I have an example on how to do this here. So I just have like a template here and uh, what we can do is we can paste the, the code in here. So let me just paste it here. Boom. And what we can do here is you can see there's an email, there's some description, there's a text and then there's something that's hidden. That's a redirect here. And the redirect just goes back to where, it, uh, where you want it to go when the person has submitted. And these are not fixed. You can put whatever you want here. So you can say, hey, for example, I can make one that's called, um, I don't even need it. I don't even need this one. I can just write one here that's like called uh, hello world and then it will work. Now, what you do is you can open this form here and you can see that it's actually working. So I can make like an email here, uh, boom, boom, boom. And I can write a description, description and another uh, one, two, three here. And when I submit, you can see it submits and we get a cute little cat here. And then uh, I will be able to see inside of my input here uh, that I have now uh, um, a form submission. I can see when it was created. I can see what IP it was from and I can click show where I also see all of the information here. So this makes it very easy for you to receive forms on your website without having to build all the infrastructure for that. And you can customize them as much as you want. In the future, we also plan to support webhooks and maybe you have some suggestions on what we also should support. So just write in the comments or write to me about this and I'll take a look at it. See you in the next one.